everyone. It is book week and more importantly today is actually World Book Day, Thursday the 4th of March. If we were at school we would be having our character parade right now, we'd all be dressed up, your teachers would be dressed up and we'd be celebrating it that way. But of course we can't do that this year sadly but not to worry because we've got something just as fun to do today. So all of your teachers have been involved in something called The Masked Reader. You might have heard of it because you might have watched The Masked Singer on the television on Saturday nights, it's just finished. So we have done a Masked Reader. So your teachers are reading an extract from one of their favourite books, but they are all disguised with a mask. And some of them have even altered their voices. So it's your jobs at home to work out who they are. And on your class pages as well, you should find a masked reader sheet to help you to record who all your guesses are. So without further ado, shall we get started? Let me just get my speakers ready. Are you ready? <laughs> And welcome to the Masked Reader Inspire Federation version. So let's have a look at my wonderful PowerPoint full of all these Masked Readers for you to try and guess. So I'm going to share my screen with you now and I think that means my face is going to disappear. Okay, right, let's go. Hang on a second. I'm just going to. Make sure I've got the sound shared properly and now I have disappeared, so I know it's working. OK, ready. From the top, then our first masked reader is. Little Red Riding Hood. Let's listen and see if we can work out who. Little Red Riding Hood is. Hello, I'm reading Elmo by David McKee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants meow, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different but all happy and all the same colour. All except Elmo. Oh, who is Little Red Riding Hood? You might want to pause the video and have a think or rewind it and watch it again. You can record it on your sheet. Who do you think is behind the mask of Little Red Riding Hood? Right, contestant number two. Beard. Who do we think is behind the mask of Beard? Let's listen to them, shall we? For mine, Master Reader Entry, I'm going to be reading an extract of a story loved by the children in my class. A breeze ruffled the neat hedges of Pivot Drive, which lay silent and tidy under the inky sky. The very last place you would expect astonishing things to happen. Harry Potter rolled over inside his blanket without waking up. One small hand closed on the letter beside him, and he slept on, not knowing he was special. Not Oh my goodness, I think Beard is reading an extract from Harry Potter. So, whichever teacher this is, they've said their class enjoys this book. So can you write down, who do you think behind the mask of Beard might be? Right, are we ready? Contestant number three. What's it? Now, what's it? One of my personal favourite disguises. Let's see if you can work out who's behind the mask of what's it? Oh, hello there. You may not think that a cheesy what's it like me likes to read, but I absolutely love reading and I'm here to show you my favourite book. 
His book is called Harris McCoo and the Rainbow Haggis. Harris McCoo is a gorgeous old coo with a twinkle or two in his eye. And he'll tell you a story in all of its glory of how the McCoos came to be. He looked out to sea and he whispered to me, let me tell you how all of this started. The weather was bad and my mood was so sad. The next day, a wee wish I chanted. Oh my goodness, who is what's it? What's it? They're reading a book called Haggis McCoo. Oh, wonder if that gives us a clue. Right, write down on your sheet. Who do you think what's it might be? Okay, contestant number four, the explorer. Right, let's listen to the explorer. The dinosaur that pooped a princess. Once upon a time, Danny was riding his dinosaur steed in search of a princess who longed to be freed. But soon they were lost in fairy tale land, so they asked for directions from Gingerbread Man. Gingerbread Man, oh Gingerbread Man, show us the way we should go if you can. Gingerbread Man scratched his gingerbread head. He thought for a moment, then suddenly said, I cannot remember my brain's made of dough, but go ask the three little pigs they might know. And then as they set off down the yellow brick track, dinosaur, dinosaur ate up that gingerbread snack. <laughs> Goodness me, Explorer kept disappearing into the wilderness behind them. I wonder who you think Explorer is. You write that down on your sheet. Who possibly could be the Explorer? Right, let's move on to our next contestant. We have Feathers. Who do you think Feathers might be? Let's listen to the story. Hi everyone, this is World Book Day. Hope you're all reading some great books. This is a fantastic book, Private Peaceful by Michael Mopergo, especially for Upper Key Stage 2. Five past ten. They're gone now and I'm alone at last. I have the whole night ahead of me and I won't waste a single moment of it. I shan't sleep it away. I won't dream it away either. I mustn't because every moment of it will be far too precious. I want to try to remember everything just as it was, just as it happened. It's been nearly 18 years of yesterdays and tomorrows and tonight I must remember as many of them as I can. I want tonight to be long, as long as my life. Oh, Feathers there, obviously a big fan of Michael Morpurgo, and I am too, actually, but I'll give you a clue. Feathers is not me. So can you write down, who do you think Feathers could be? Okay, moving on to our next contestant, please. We have Watermelon. Right, let's see. Oh, Watermelon's gonna be a tricky one, I feel. Let's see if we can work out who's behind the mask. Twas Billig and the Slyby Toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. Oh, Mimsy were the Borough Groves and the Mum Rats outgrabe. Beware the Jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the Jubjub bird and shun the frumerous brander snatch. He took his vocal sword in hand, long time the maxim foe he sought. So rested he by a tum tum tree and stood a while and thought. Goodness me, Watermelon there, I think, reading a poem. Who do we think Watermelon can be? Look at those lips. Whose do they look like? Write down, who do you think Watermelon could possibly be? Right, moving on to our next contestant, we have Robot. Robot looking fantastic there with their purple eyes. Let's play robots video and see if we can work out who is behind the mask. There's a rocket in my pocket, my doctor's use and a window in my window and a nutcase in my bookcase. Well, robot obviously likes to sing. I wonder if that's a clue. I think Robot also has quite a kind voice underneath 
the disguise. I wonder if you can work out who is robot. Pop it down on your sheet. Right, next contestant, please. We have Knight. Quite a sinister looking knight. Let's see if we can work out who is Knight. Mrs. Vickers knickers. Mrs. Vickers was just pegging a pretty pair of knickers on the line when my favourite knickers! Well that's the end of those, she thought. But Mrs. Vickers was wrong. This was just the start. Mrs. Vickers' favourite knickers twisted and twirled on the breeze, high over the rooftops, far above the town, for everyone to see. Ooh, night there, reading not a very scary story about Mrs. Vickers' knickers. I wonder if you can work out they're trying very hard to disguise their voice there. Who could night possibly be? Next contestant, please, we have Teddy Bear. Right, let's listen to Teddy Bear. Who could Teddy Bear be? The story of Little Mole, who knew it was none of his business. One day, Little Mole poked his head out from underground to see whether the sun had already risen, then it happened. How mean, cried the little mole. Who has done this on my head? Did you do this on my head? He asked the dove who was flying past. Me? No, how could I? I do it like this. Teddy bear there, I think, if you were listening closely, I could hear a dog in the background. I wonder if that is a clue. Could that possibly help us work out who Teddy bear could be? Maybe someone with a dog? Next contestant, please, we have horse. Horse, of course. Let's listen to horse. Can we work out who possibly horse could be? What have you been doing, Mary Legs? I asked. Oh, said he, tossing his little head. I've only been giving those young people a lesson. They did not know when they had had enough, nor when I had had enough. So I just pitched them off backwards. That was the only thing they could understand. What? said I. You threw the children off? I thought you did no better than that. Did you throw Miss Jessie or Miss Flora? He looked very much offended and said, Of course not. I would not do such a thing for the best oats that ever came into the stable. Why, I'm as careful of our young ladies as the master could be. And as for the little ones, it is I who teach them to ride. Mmm, horse. A very tricky one there. Disguised their face and also have disguised their voice. Oh dear, I guess if you're in this teacher's class, you're going to have to think about what they are reading and whether you've heard it before. Okay, moving on to our next contestant, we have Blue Raspberry. Blue raspberry there hanging on a stem. Let's listen and see if we can work out who Blue Raspberry is. This is the story, Kindness is my superpower. You see, yesterday I was in a bad mood, so sadly I did something extremely rude. I teased my friend Lisa for wearing glasses. It made her cry for the rest of her classes. When I got home, I was greeted by Mum. I was sad to see her face looking so glum. Honey, you made your friend Lisa cry. Hurting people's feelings is wrong. Do you know why? You should always be kind, my dear mother said. I knew I'd done wrong, so I bowed my head. Oh, Blue Raspberry there, reading an extract from a book all about kindness. I wonder if this is a particular, particularly kind teacher that's hiding behind the mask of Blue Raspberry. Have a think, R write it down on your sheet. Who possibly could Blue Raspberry be? Right, moving on to our next contestant, we have Bear. <gasps> Bear, who could Bear be? Let's have a listen to Bear. Go. 
Good morning, everyone. I am going to read you my favourite book, which I star in. And that is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there was a girl called Goldilocks. She liked to do something naughty each day. On Monday, what was she doing? Let's see. I think she was hiding from her little brother. On Tuesday, look, she's put something on her daddy's seat. On Wednesday, oh my goodness, that naughty Goldilocks, she's painting the wall. On Thursday, oh, she's cut all her brother's hair off. Dear, oh dear, naughty Goldilocks. Now, thought Goldilocks, what shall I do next? Ooh, Bear Bear. Look at the background and where Bear is. I wonder if that gives us a little bit of a clue as to who Bear could be. Reading all about, uh, reading a story all about themselves. Who could Bear be? Right, let's move on to our next contestant. We have Not As Well Hidden Knight. So if you remember, we had Knight a few goes ago. This one I would describe as Not As Well Hidden Knight. Let's listen to Not As Well Hidden Knight and see who we think they could possibly be. The Gryffindor common room was very noisy that evening. Harry, Ron and Hermione sat together next to the window. Hermione was checking Harry and Ron's charms homework for them. She would never let them copy, but by asking her to read it through, they got the right questions anyway. Harry felt restless. He wanted Quidditch through the ages back to take his mind off his nerves about tomorrow. Why shouldn't he be afraid of Snake? Getting up, he told Ron and Hermione he was going to ask Snape if he could have it. Remember, rather you than me, they said together. Ooh, not as well hidden night there. Also, reading Harry Potter. I wonder if that gives us a clue as to who this could possibly be. I have got absolutely no idea. Right, moving on. We have... Bandit! Bandit is our last contestant of the evening. Let's listen. Can we work out who is behind the mask of Bandit? He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Fantastic, right. I am going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to give you time to think and record on your pieces of paper. Who do you think our mask singers are? And then when you think you know, you can go onto our reveal video and find out who all your masked singers are. Good luck.